Hello people, how are you? In this video, we want to look at some orthopedic scrambled words, scrambled words from orthopedics. Let's see if you can unscramble them and also learn something in the process. Here we go. What do you think this one is, guys? Take a clue. It's the name of a bone, a, a small one, a carpal bone starting with S. Scaphoid. Very good. Shall we go to the second one, guys? What do you think this one is? It's the name of a syndrome where there will be connective tissue disorder that can have some problems with the iota, starts with M. Very good. Marfan's syndrome. Let's go to the third one. Here you go. What do you think this one is, guys? Zoomed it for your convenience. What do you think this is? It's um, a word that starts with M and it is about some pain, algia. Have you heard of meralgia paresthetica? It is a condition characterized by tingling, numbness and burning pain in the outer part of your thigh. Okay, because of the compression of the lateral femoral cutaneous nerve. So the answer here is meralgia, the thigh, out part of thigh. Let's go to the fourth one here. What do you think this is? Do you want a clue? It is starting with an A. Yes, I'll give you the meaning of this. So basically, it starts with an A. It's also, you can say it's dactylosis spontanea. So something which is involving the digits, the fingers. So what do you think this one is? Anihum. Very good. Shall we go to the fifth one, guys? Here you go. What do you think this one is? It sounds like it begins with a A. Same thing related to that anihum, actually. How do you define this? You're going to remove a part of the limb, is it? Or whatever, you're going to remove a part of it. You're surgically cutting it off. It is amputation. Let's go to the sixth one here. What do you think this one is, guys? Do you want a clue? Think orthopedics. And think about your hand. Actually, it's two words starting with C and the other word starting with T. Yes, when the median nerve is compressed, what do you say? Carpal tunnel syndrome in your hand. Very good. Let's go to the seventh one here, guys. What do you think this one is? And why do you think it is there here? It is starting with an A. So you can think. So it is something to do with the blood vessel type, aneurysmal. So aneurysmal bone cyst, it's a blood filled lesion in the bone, isn't it? It tends to expand, grow, it says. Let's go to the eighth one, guys. Are you having fun? Let's look at the eighth one here. What do you think this is? This is actually a condition, right? But also it can be used by quacks for treatment as a splint. So what is this? This is a wood. It is bamboo. There's a condition called as bamboo spine, guys. It is, uh, it's a radiographic feature seen in ankylosing spondylitis okay there will be vertebral body fusion by marginal syndesmophytes okay let's go to the next one what do you think this one is guys try your luck this is beginning with a b yes and actually there are two words to it right it's basically the name of a splint Bola bronze splint, okay. It is a common splint used for immobilization of the lower limb, okay. Bola bronze splint. Let's go to the tenth one, guys. Nice. So the tenth one here is, what do you think this one is? It starts with a C. So where will you see this word? In orthopedics. Let me give you a clue. So basically, it is also called as neuropathic arthropathy. Is it? Charcot joint. So bone and 
joint changes that occur secondary to loss of sensation. So you can see it even in diabetes. Okay, so the answer here is Charcot. Let's go to the 11th one. Oh, we are done with 10. Superb guys, you have solved 10 and learnt 10 terminologies from orthopedics. Let's continue with the 11th one. What do you think this one is guys? It starts with a D, uh, sorry, a B, some abscess, which is walled off kind of a thing. Brody abscess. Very good. Let's go to the 12th one. What do you think this one is? A huge word here. It's made up of two things. One is S and the other one is C. So it is um, like um, supra, supra, supra condylar. Okay. So part of the bone, condyle, supra condylar. Now let's go to the 13th one. <clears throat> what do you think this one is? Take a guess. It begins with A. Something to do with the joint again. Arthro, arthrodesis means you're joining the joint, isn't it? You're kind of uh, limiting the movement. So when do you do this? Arthrodesis is a fusion of two or more bones in a joint, right? So basically you will do this when it is better to do this basically, right? Basically if there's severe pain, etc. This is not done that much, I'm guessing, arthrodesis, okay? Let's go to the 14th one now. What is this? Take a guess. It starts with M. It's the name of a fracture. Again, fracture on an outstretched hand. This is Montagia. Very good. Montagia fracture, isn't it? So there will be frax fracture of the proximal third of the ulna with dislocation of the proximal head of the radius. This is a proximal fracture basically to your elbow. Right? Now let's go to the 15th one, guys. What is this? For a clue, if you want, it begins with an M. And uh, what exactly does it mean? <sighs> Let's see this. You can see it is like dash finger, begin, be, beginning with an M. What is it? It's the deformity of the finger. It occurs when the tendon that straightens the finger is damaged. Okay. So mallet finger, very good. So it is mallet finger, very good. Now let's go to the 16th one, guys. What do you think this is? I think you guessed it. It starts with a B, very good. And it has, what, what exactly are you looking at here? Again of the hand, a fracture of the hand, guys. Bennett fracture, basically fracture of the base of the first metacarpal bone, which extends into the carpometacarpal joint. So something to do with your thumb can we say? First metacarpal. That's Bennett. Okay, now let's go to the 17th one guys. What is this? Think orthopedics. Think orthopedics. The clue is that it begins with a P. You would have heard this. This is a disease. You keep saying this word. Right? So basically it is a disease. Like we told you it is um, it's of the hip. So it is Perthes disease. Very good. 18th one. <clears throat> what do you think this one is? It begins with P. Basically like para, paraplegia. Very good. Paraplegia. Now let's go to the 19th one guys. What do you think this one is? Very easy word. Inflammation of the joints it starts with A. Arthritis. Now let's go to the 20th one. What do you think this one is? I think you guessed it already. <laughs> Again begins with an A. R. Uh, something to do with the joint. Right? So it is arthrosis. How do you define arthrosis? Cis is mostly referring to a disease, right? So basically it is non-inflammatory degenerative condition associated with aging, arthrosis. It is non-inflammatory, right? If it is inflammatory, I eat this, you will add. So that's great, guys. You have finished 20 more um, orthopedic, I mean 10 more, 10 more. That is total 20 orthopedics words. Now let's go to the 21st one. Hope you're learning something. What is this? It begins with a G. 
very good how do you define this some swelling in your um, uh, joint kind of a thing especially your hand of the wrist what is this jelly like fluid will be there inside <clears throat> ganglion cyst very good let's go with 22nd one here <clears throat> what is this i'm thinking that it starts with o what do you say guys osteo osteo something what is your guess and a p yes osteoporosis happens with menopause or aging where the bone density decreases okay because of lack of estrogen etc now let's go to 23 oh very easy it starts with a j articulation <clears throat> joint now let us go to the 24th one that is ha huh, think about it what do you think the starting letter is first of all or what do you think the word is starts with a k easy something to do with the uh, spine right the bend of the spine what is that kyphosis very good kyphosis k y p h kyphosis so basically it is the front to back curve of the upper spine okay that is kyphosis now let's go to the 25th one what is this do you want a clue it's two words something like starting with a b some bakery kind of thing yeah baker cyst where do you see this baker cyst guys in uh, orthopedics so basically baker cyst is also called as a popliteal cyst so it is usually in, as a result of the problem with your knee joint okay now let us go to the 26th one what do you think this one is a huge long one think about it guys think orthopedics and answer this question just think about the bone infection chronic infection what is there around the sequestrum involucre very good 27th one here for you very easy is it think about uh, a word starting with p cerebral etc palsy very good now let us go to 28th one guys what do you think very easy right starts with m so after a fracture if it is not treated properly what can happen malunion very good now let's go to the 29th one here you go what do you think this one is i am guessing again it starts with an o because osteo osteo whenever osteo comes you can actually frame that word and make the remaining word it says osteoma osteoma what is osteoma guys is it a benign condition or a malignant condition basically osteoma is a new piece of grown bone okay it is growing on other piece of bone okay so let's go to the 30th one what is this this uh, osteoma let me just clarify osteoid osteoma is a benign condition okay now let us go to this one what is this um give a uh, starting letter m basically you play with those things right and you also put it as tiles in your house marble but why is marble there in orthopedics there's something called as marble bone disease guys so that is why they have given you this in orthopedics marble bone disease um they are also saying it is a word for osteopetrosis okay so let's move on how about this one now oh we finished 30 that's calling for a break half done guys we just want to learn a few more terminologies in orthopedics look at the 31st one let's go fast from here our intention is to not just unscramble but also learn the meanings of these important words in orthopedics isn't it what do you think this one is let me give you a clue it begins with h so if this a condition dash a heme heme something yes heme arthrosis where do you see this condition guys heme arthrosis it is basically bleeding into the joints you know if they have a bleeding disorder like hemophilia etc they can bleed into the joints heme arthrosis just like the name suggests now let's go to the 32nd one 32nd one is this one something mysterious it looks like mysterious what is this it is nothing but starting with o and there's something osteo again osteotomy what is osteotomy cutting reshaping the bone osteotomy 
थर्टी थर्ड वन वॉट इज दिस वन थिंक इट्स अ वेरी इजी कॉमन वर्ड समथिंग लाइक फ्रैक्चर और डिस डिसलोकेशन वेरी गुड सो नाउ लेट्स गो इट्स लाइक शोल्डर डिसलोकेशन वेरी कॉमन स्पेशली द एंटीरियर वन राइट नाउ लुक एट दिस वन वॉट इज दिस समथिंग दैट यू डू टू make it immobile starting with s splint very good what is this think orthopedics sub 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 subluxation very good how do you distinguish subluxation from uh, dislocation subluxation is minor or incomplete dislocation okay so that's what you can say now let us go to 36th one what is this one do you want a clue it starts with a c something to do with cartilage tumor chondroma very good 37th one now what is this so this one is beginning with a s so something to do with the spine again is it so it is scoliosis so basically there is sideways curvature of the spine let's go to the 38th one i think i see it what is this something to do with o again and i'm guessing osteo something osteo infection of the bone osteo myelitis very good now let's go to the 39th one guys what is this i'm guessing it s something don't you think guys how's it going guys we want to look at at least some words that will help us in the exam so what is this starting with an s something to do with your spine fracture so spondylo lysis so basically spine there is crack fracture between two vertebrae so you should understand this one now let's go to the 40th one come on let's crack the 40th one what is this varus very good starting with a v very easy for you so basically the deviation is to the midline they are saying okay varus so we are done with 40 time for treaters coming soon just a few more to go let's go to the 41st one try this one let's go soon from here basically r two words yes it is robert jones what is robert jones guys in orthopedics it's a bandage fracture splint basically compression dressing okay robert jones bandage so that is what is robert jones okay compression bandage is it okay now let's go to the 42nd one what do you think this one is guys so it is nothing but starting with t you're kind of giving some pull traction very good for the third one now we're going soon what is this whatever happens road traffic accident etc you will get orthopedic case because of fractures etc trauma for the fourth one here for you some uh, r a something plasty yes arthroplasty now let's go to the 45th one what is this in uh, orthopedics what is um, this word starts with an s so it starts with s y isn't it it is s y s y m e what is s y m e guys syme s i m e it's an amputation done through the ankle joint okay amputation syme amputation now let's go to the 46th one what do you think this one is neck sternocleidomastoid t starting with t torticollis very good 47th one what is this starting with m myo myo myositis what is myositis guys how do you define it myositis ossificans and all you would have heard of it is where bone tissue forms inside of muscle interesting after an injury myositis 
That is why it is said myositis ossificans. Okay. Now let's go to 48th one here. Very easy. This the starting word looks like it's starting word actually starting letter. So it is again chronic bone infection, osteomyelitis. You will see sequestrum. Very good. Let's go to the 49th one now. Try this one. It's nothing but pathological fractures, etc. And there is yet another type of fracture where there is repeated dash on the bone which will cause the fracture. Begins with S. Stress fracture. Very good guys. Now let's go to the 50th one. What is this? Starts with a T. Yes. Synovial something, tenosynovitis. Okay, so basically, what is tenosynovitis, guys? You need to learn this word. For, uh, tenosynovitis is something to do with your joint. Obviously, it is inflammation of the tendon and its respective synovial sheath. T tendon and the synovial sheath inflammation. We are done with fifty. Last ten to go. Amazing. We have learned fifty terms in orthopedics. That's amazing. Let's learn the fifty-first one. What is this? Very commonly used splint, lower limb, starting with T, name of a person kind of a thing, Thomas splint, very good. Let's try the 52nd one, what is this? Oh my god, it's so simple guys, it starts with an F, all about orthopedics, fracture. How do you define fracture in orthopedics? It's a crack or a discontinuity in the bone, etc. You can say, isn't it? In orthopedics, yes. Coming to this one, what is this? Starts with C. Sorry, yes. You know, because of your um, sciatic nerve, sciatica. Okay. Now let's go to the fifty-fourth one. What is this? Starting letter is P. It's the name of a bone in your knee joint. Bone, uh, which is a sesamoid bone, isn't it? Patella. Let's go to the 55th one. What is this? Think orthopedics. <laughs> Very good. R starts with an A, R, uh, autoimmune, arthritis, RA, rheumatoid arthritis. Coming to 56th one. Try this. Some bone is forming. You know? Bone formation, exostosis, yes. Coming to 57th one. 57th is a small word, guess it. Something to do with tuberculosis and uh, the spinal cord, Potts spine. Very good. 58th one, guys. What is this? Starts with D. Something to do with your hand. Tuputrin's contracture. When does this happen? Something to do with the palmar aponeurysis, isn't it? Why does this happen, guys? Because of your... See, this is Dupuytren's contracture. You can see here how the fingers, the, the small fingers are kind of bent into the palm. This is because of palmar fascia shortens, thickens. Okay, here they have shown you the palmar fascia shortening and thickening. Okay, this is Dupuytren's contracture. This can happen because of smoking, etc. Let's go to the 59th one, guys. We just have uh, two, three more to complete. What is this? Starts with C. So, something to do with your uh, elbow. Cubitis. Very good. Cubitis. Let's go to the 60th one. What is this one? Starts with a D. They will ask this in the question, guys. D something. D. Some tenosynovitis. Yes. D. Quervain tenosynovitis. Okay. Painful condition that affects the thumb. Okay. Tendons on the thumb side of your hand. Okay. Let's go to the 61st one. Small one here. Again, the hand can be even in the foot. A leprosy can cause this, starting with C, like an animal, claw, claw hand, claw hand, etc. 60 second one. What is this, guys? Come on, just two more, guys. You have learned a lot of vocabulary words from orthopedics. 
very easy sarcoma starting with e at uh, it uh, it is in the diaphases of the bone isn't it evening sarcoma then last one guys 63rd one you're done guys the last one here it's just nothing but s joint space there are so many types of joint and one of this this is a type of joint synovial joint okay so what are the types of joint you have fibrous joint cartilaginous joint and synovial joint isn't it in general anatomy you have seen the joints classification you have fibrous joint cartilaginous joint and synovial joint synovial joint have free mobility so that is why they are said they are called as diarthrosis cartilaginous are not so mobile but not so fixed also they are amphiarthrosis and fibrous are immovable they are synarthrosis these are the types of joints hope you learned something guys this was all about orthopedic vocabulary and some terminologies you should know for your exam bye bye